Hello everybody, J Money here, and I am here today to show you my deck tracker and how to install it for yourself. Uh, so uh, there should be a link provided in the description uh, for this web page, and if you go here, you'll see a couple things. Um, the first is a change login or readme. These are just uh, for information on what's changed in the past update, and basically also just a overview of what I'm talking about in this video in text form. There's also these two files, uh, GU Tracker, uh, in this case v2-1. This will change in the future as it gets updated, but for now it's 2-1. Uh, one that's a .exe file and one that's a .py file. Uh, the .exe file is just a compiled version of the .py file. Um, so for this demonstration I'm going to use the .exe. So if I go here and then click on download, um, it'll download. So when you run this for yourself, I'd highly recommend moving this to a different folder uh, because this will create a config.txt file that you don't want to get lost, but you can't just run it in your downloads folder. And for this demonstration, I will just out of convenience. So uh, just double click on it to run it. You'll get this warning. So uh, just to be very clear, you should only run .exe files from sources you should trust. Uh, and you should not trust me just because of this video. Uh, I will, however, be showing you uh, the compilation of the Python file at the end of this video, and then I'm going to upload it to GitHub to replace the current version, uh, just so that you can feel more confident. Uh, however, I do recommend using just the .py file, uh, just as a matter of principle, because .exe files can be very dangerous. Um, if you do use the .py file, you'll need to install Python 3 as well as, I think, PyQt5, and then maybe a couple other dependencies. Um, the .exe file is completely self-contained, though, which is why I've included it. Um, so you will probably get this warning or something similar to it. Uh, more info and then run anyway. So just to be clear, running uh, .exe files that you don't know what they do is very dangerous which is why I'm showing you the compilation of it in this case uh, at the end of the video. So you'll get something that looks something like this, most likely. Um, so there's a couple things that you need to do uh, just to get it to start working. The first thing that you'll want to do is go to settings, and then there will be this enter path to output log.txt. Uh, this will be a different, it'll say enter path to like fuel games, I think, uh, in the new version that I'm uploading. Uh, but what you, you want to do here is navigate to this directory or the equivalent of it. So for me, it's uh, c slash users slash username slash app data slash local low slash field games. Uh, on Linux or Mac, this is probably different, uh, but on Windows, this should be uh, what yours is unless you've changed the location. Uh, just right click, copy address, and then paste it into here. And then this, uh, this will update the log location. Um, for most of you, you probably won't actually have to do this because it just uses the default location, but if you're getting errors that says you can't find the log file, uh, that is why. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is click on set active deck. So this is uh, whenever you're, uh, whenever you switch decks, you'll have to update this. And the easiest way to do this is to just go to your GU decks page. Um, so in this case, the deck that I'm going to be demonstrating this is with my nature deck. So just copy this entire URL and paste it into here. And you can see it's already uh, updated my deck tracker. Um, so yeah, that's how to get it set up. Now I'm going to play an actual game just to demonstrate how it works. So I did an AI game just to make sure it worked. But so using an actual deck. Um, and just while it sets up, I'll show off a couple cool things. So in settings, you can change um, the font size and font type. So let's say I want to make it size 20 and use Times New Roman, for example. Um, then it will increase the font size and then change the font type. Uh, personally, I like, I think that's how you spell it. Yeah, I like this font uh, personally, but you can change it to whatever font you want. And then you can also change the opacity if you want it to be uh, slightly or very see-through. So let's say 0.5, then this will become see-through, 
which is quite nice in my opinion. Uh, I actually like just playing on one, but I know some people like the opacity. Another really cool feature is you can click on this button and it will automatically open up your opponent's uh, Geodex page. So I can see that this person played a game six minutes ago and this is most likely their deck. I'm gonna switch back, just make sure I don't choose the wrong uh, god power. Um, wow, that's actually a really good starting hand. I think I'll just keep this. I uh, notice this even works if they have boxes for names. Uh, so this is the, you know, it's a by question mark, right? So it's the same person. Uh, so this is extremely useful, especially when they have boxes for names, uh, in my opinion. Of course, you don't have to use this feature if you don't want to, uh, but you can, it's available. Um, while we wait for them to choose. Um, yeah, so now we can see that Marsh Walker, uh, Staff of Roots, and Pyramid Wardens no longer have the parentheses 2 next to them. So uh, that means that it's working. Also, Wildfire no longer has it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this part. Uh, you guys don't really need to, you know, hear me commentate about the game. This is more about the deck tracker. So you can watch the deck tracker as the game goes on and then uh, just verify that it works for yourself. All right, see you at the end. that's lethal. So as you can see, the cards have been disappearing as the game progressed. Um, and yeah, it works. It's pretty cool. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the compilation process and also me uploading it to GitHub just so that you guys can be as sure as possible that the .exe file is safe. Of course, it never truly can be completely safe, uh, but I do want people to be able to use the .exe file without, uh, you know, being super afraid, uh, just because I feel that it's a lot easier. Uh, so uh, this is the directory, and I will just uh, pull up the same directory just so you guys can see. So this is the folder that I'm running it in. Uh, I will be using this file to upload to GitHub as well. Uh, so you'll be able to basically see that it's the exact same file that I'm compiling. So I'm using PyInstaller. Uh, if anybody wants to confirm how PyInstaller works for yourself, you can see that I'm doing the same file. So I'll go ahead and run this. I'll go ahead and close the deck tracker for now. So we'll let that run out. I will pull up the GitHub desktop folder. Okay. So cool. So now it has uh, just finished compiling. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the file of my repository here. Okay, so I am going to I'm just going to delete these. Uh, I only made a single line change, so I don't need to uh, make a new version. Like This isn't warrant 2-2. So I'll go ahead and delete those. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this file in. Oh, I guess you guys can't verify that I copy-pasted, so let me, uh, let me just drag it in, and then I can always just get a copy of it later. So just to be very clear that I didn't have a, another file saved to my clipboard. I'm going to drag and drop, uh, and then I'm going to go into dist, and do you, if you look up how PyInstaller works, you can verify that this is exactly uh, what you should see. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing where I'm just going to drag it in. Okay, 
Uh, now I can go ahead and close this. And then pull origin and then commit 2-1 update. Commit to main and then push. Cool. Uh, so now if we look back at this page and we refresh, we just updated it 13 seconds ago. And then just to verify that, because uh, on GitHub, you can see the timestamps of this. So just, to, uh, you know, if you want to get an accurate timestamp of when I uploaded this compilation version, uh, this is the UTC uh, date and time. I guess I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it better, but it is 1130 UTC on uh, September 27th, which should be exactly the same update time. Um, obviously, uh, this will change in the future, but I will try to record and upload every time that I uh, change a file and then post the link in the GitHub somewhere. So you guys can always verify that the .exe file is the same as the .py file. Um, yeah, so thanks for sticking around, and I hope you can get good use out of my deck tracker. Bye-bye.